Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 15 of annual term. And my dear student, our today's topic name exercise 11b. From exercise 11b, we shall solve three odd problem. Odd problem number 3, 4 and 5. This is your CW. And there is a good news for you. There is no SW today. So let us start our class. I have already written the question on the board. So in order to solve this math, at first we need to read the question. After that we make a plan. And after making plan, then we shall solve these problems. Okay. Question number 3. There is a rectangular shape pedi field whose width is 750 meters and the length is 1200 meters. What is the area of this pedi field? My dear student, at starting of this question, uh, the field is in rectangular shape. So we need to find, we need to know what is the area of the rectangle. Okay. So, this is the figure of rectangle. This is the figure of rectangle. Its opposite sides are equal and parallel. These sides and these sides are equal and parallel. On the other hand, this side and this side are parallel. All the angles are right angles. And the area of this rectangular field is length multiply width. So, it is very, very important to know area of the rectangle is length multiply width. So my dear student, in order to solve this math, at first we write given that, given that length of the field of the field equal to 1200 meters and width of the field equal to 750 meters. Okay. Now, the area of the of the rectangular PD field is length multiply width. Now we put the value of length and width which is given at first. So length is 1200 and width is 750 as the as we need to find out the area so the unit will be a square meter meter square or you can write this meter square as sq dot m this means square meter okay so here we use meter square now we do multiplication my dear student you do multiply uh, you do multiply here uh, by easy process or you can show the uh, this you can show this multiplications here okay but here we do the multiplication by using easy process. 1, 2, 3. This 3, 0 is written here. Okay. Now we multiply this 75 by 12. 12, 5, jar. 12, 5, jar 60. From 60, I write here 0, carrying 6. 12, 7, jar 84. 84 and 6, 90. So we write 90. So 9 lakh meter square is the area of this rectangular pedi field and it is the answer you must write this okay this is the solution of question number three next we shall solve question number four the width of a rectangular shaped park is 50 meters and its area is 4250 square meter what is the length of this park so here width and area is given. We need to find out the length of the park. The park is in rectangular shape. 
So if we divide this area by the width, then we get the length of the perk. So first of all, we write given that. Four number given that width of the park fifty meters and area of the park four thousand two hundred and fifty meter square. Therefore, the length of the rectangular park is area divided by width. Now we put the value of area and width. Here area is 4250 and width is 50 and if as we uh, need to find out the length so unit will be meter ok now here we show the division procedure 50 divided by 4250 here 4250 is the divided and 50 is the divisor at first we take two digit which is 42 this is smaller than 50 for this reason we take three digit from here and it is 425 in 425 50 goes in 8 times that means 8 0 is 0 and 8 5 are 40. Now we do subtraction and we get 25. 8 0 is placed here. Now the number is 250. In 250, 50 goes in how many times? Goes in 5 times. So 5 0 is 0 and 5 5 are 25. After subtracting we get 0. So 85 is the required answer. That means 85 meter is the length of this rectangular shaped park ok as our solution done we must write answer my dear student if you don't write answer then some marks is deducted from your answer script so you should bear in mind after completing your solution you must write answer so for number done next we shall solve question number 5 at first we read the question after that we make a plan how to solve this math then you shall start this math the height of a rectangle is 0 0.8 kilometer and its area is 1.2 square kilometer. Then how many kilometers is the base? My dear student, do you know what is the formula of area of a rectangle? Formula of area of a rectangle is base multiplied by height divided by 2. I repeat, base multiplied by height divided by 2. But here we need to find out the base of this triangle. So how can the formula will be 2 multiply area divided by height. I repeat 2 multiply area divided by height. So in order to solve that math, at first we need to write given that. Given that height of the triangle the height of the triangle height of the triangle is 0 0.8 kilometer and the area of the triangle one point two kilometer. So the base of the triangle equal to two multiply area divided by height. Okay. So here two area is one point two and height is 0 0.8 after that if you do multiplication of 1.2 and 2 then we get 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2 so 2.4 okay divided by 
zero point eight. Now we convert this decimal number into fraction. So how can at first we write this two point four without point? That means twenty four as a numerator. And for this point, I write here one. And after point, how many digit? After point only one digit. As there is only one digit after point, so we give here one zero. So twenty four by ten is the fractional number of the decimal number two point four. Okay, this division sign is here. After that, zero point eight. That means we can write this number as eight divided by four point one. And after point one digit, so we give one zero. So twenty four by ten divided by eight by ten. Now twenty four by ten divided by eight by ten. What do you mean by division of one fraction by another fraction? Division of one fraction by another fraction means multiplication of one fraction with the reverse of the second fraction. So first of all, we write the first fraction without any change. Then multiply. After multiply, the second fraction will be reverse. That means its numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. So ten by eight. Now we do cut. Here you notice ten and ten both are cut by the number ten. So ten on the ten, ten on the ten. Here twenty four and eight. So both number is cut by the number eight. Eight on the eight and eight threes are twenty four. So here as a numerator there is three multiply one and as a denominator there is one multiply one. So here we write three on the three. No need to write here one under three because we know that every number has a denominator which is one and that is negligible. So three. Kilometer is the required answer. That means three kilometer is the base of the required triangle. As a solution done, we must write answer three kilometer. Okay, my dear student, this is our today's lecture. I hope this class is fruitful for you. And there is no ASW today, but you have to practice this more and more to learn. Okay, so my dear student, keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamualaikum.